Hey, everybody. Back with you, and I wanted to go over a math question. Uh, uh, one of our students had reached out and asked us some questions. They said they were having some trouble with um, determining linear feet. So it's like the, you know, the main category here is measurements uh, and uh, how to calculate, like, you know, the amount of money that we'd have to spend on fence, perimeter, basically, and sort of how that works. They were getting tripped up. And, you know, we thought about it. We're going to send her a custom video and, 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 and get go through this next problem. But then we just said, well, why don't we also put it on YouTube? Because I know that there's folks out there that are going to find benefit from this. Uh, very classic math example on real estate examinations. So let's jump into this question. Uh, coming up next, we're going to be talking about linear feet measurements uh, and how to make those calculations on the real estate examination. I'll see you on the inside. All right, let's take a look at this question. A homeowner wants to fence his backyard for his dog. The home is on a lot that is 150 feet wide in the front and back and 120 feet deep on each side. The home itself is 60 feet wide, and the back of the house is at the halfway point of the yard. The fence will start from either end of the back of the house. If the fence costs $12 per linear foot, how much will the fence cost? All right, so these kinds of questions are classic questions. A lot of little moving parts. It's one math question. You have the anxiety of, you know, you're being at the test. There's so many other things. And what a lot of, uh, uh, you know, students will do is they many times they'll botch this, pick something or just go away if they have the math anxiety. Uh, it's not a bad problem. You're, it's really useful if you had some scratch paper. So let's jump into this example uh, before we get to the answer. Okay. So let's take a look at this sort of diagram. Uh, example, I'll kind of draw it out for you in terms of diagram. But, but let's go back to the question. A homeowner wants to fence their backyard for their dog. The home is on a lot that is 150 feet wide in the front and the back. So the th first thing I would do is I would just simply draw, you know, this rectangular shape because it says, hey, it's 100, uh, 150 feet in the front and 150 feet on the back of the lot, and the lot is 120 feet deep. So let's just kind of label everything so we kind of understand what's happening here. If we're looking at this rectangle, we know that the front of the property is 150 feet. We know that the back of the property is 150 feet. And then we know that each side is 120 feet feet deep. So that's 120 feet here and 120 feet there. So we're looking at a rectangle, nothing big, but this is important information because we're going to have some of the numbers, the, you know, the, the amount of feet so that we can calculate linear feet. The home itself is 60 feet wide and the back of the house is at the halfway point of the yard. Well, what's the halfway point of the yard? The halfway point of the yard, really crudely drawn, is like right here, right? So this is the halfway part of the house. I'm going to draw a line here. And, you know, we're, let's draw a house. The house is 60 feet wide. So let's say we did a house that kind of does like one of these. And now we know that the house is 60 feet wide. So this is 60 and this is 60, right? So we know that that's 60 feet. Uh, and we know that the whole thing is 150 Right? And we know that the, the depth of the lot is 120 feet. And the halfway point is 60 feet, right? Because it said that the, the back of the house lines up with the, with the center of the lot. So in that, we have some information here where we know that this is 60 feet from here to here, right? Because this is halfway point and this is the backyard. So then the idea here is the fence will start from either end of the back of the house. So this is the back of the house. And then it's going to start from here and go this way. And then it's going to start here, the fence. Let's pretend this little fence post and it's going to go this way. So we are looking at a sort of marked in area that's going to kind of go like this. Right, so we know that that's where the fence is going, and we're not—we don't have to put a fence up here because that's the back of the house. So we know that the fence will start from either end of the back of the house. If the fence costs twelve dollars per linear foot, how much will the fence cost? So the idea here is we need to find out first how many feet. Now, where linear feet confuses people, think. 
per- perimeter, uh, the, the sort of the, the the total distance around a certain area, not the area, but the, the perimeter of something. So linear measurements are done in you know feet, linear feet, which is basically just adding up the entire area around that. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find the linear measurement of where the fence will be installed. The house is at the halfway point, meaning that we can cut the depth of the lot, the two side measurements in half in essence. So what we know is we can subtract from a uh, 150 total feet, which is the entire length, we can subtract 60, which is this length of the house. And when we do that, we get 90 feet. So basically, you can look at it a, b- a bunch of different ways. You can then theoretically say, okay, well, then this side is 45 feet. This side is 45 feet. The combined is 90 Right, so we just need to know what the combined number is. So this whole thing that they're going to fence, uh, that kind of butts up against the house, is 90 feet. We know that this is 60 feet deep, and we know that this is 150 feet. So the house is 60 feet wide. So we subtract this from the total width because the portion does not need to be fenced, the house itself. To find the length of the front portion of the fence, the back remains the same at 150, and the total fence length is 90 feet in the front plus 60 feet deep on each side plus 150 feet in the back. And if you add all of those up, you get a total of 360 linear feet, right? So we get 360 linear feet, and then we have to multiply step two the linear feet by the cost of the fence, which was $12 per linear foot. So basically, the math is pretty simple. You take 360 times 12, and your answer is $4,320. So the big trick here is, again, want to make sure that you're able to draw something out on the scrap paper. We eliminated the 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 width of the house. We didn't have to fence that. We have to fence over here. 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 And we have to fence this whole back. The whole back is 150. Over here in this area, this is 60. Over here in this area, this is 60 feet. Over here, let's say that's 45 feet. Over here, let's say this is 45 feet. If the house happened to be smack dab in the middle of the lot, of course, right? This can be a little off. But we just add all these numbers up. 45 plus 45 plus 60 plus 60 plus 150, right? When we add all of those up, we're going to get to 360. Then we're going to multiply that times the price per linear foot. And the answer is 4,300 and I believe 20 bucks. So the answer to this question was letter C. 